First look at Pixel Experience Beta ROM based on Android 11 running on the Redmi K20 Pro or the Xiaomi Mi 90 Pro. Hey peeps, what's up? Manji here, back with another video. And in this video, we're going to have our first look at Pixel Experience Beta ROM based on Android 11 with security patch from November 5th running on the Redmi K20 Pro or the Xiaomi Mi 90 Pro. And as you can see, the kernel they are using is Perf kernel. And SE Linux is of course set as enforcing. The first thing you will notice is that the Android 11 Easter egg cat game is not working on this build. Next up, out of the box, you do get Pixel Launcher and along with Pixel Launcher, you also get Pixel 5 live wallpapers as well. Other than that, we can have a look at the recents. Bam, here are the recents. Super fast and super smooth. Screenshot works like a boss. Tap on share, quick share menu in the building. Press and hold on any application and you can then pin it to your quick share menu. So we can try that with messages. Bam, messages is now pinned to the quick share menu. We can also check whether the select feature is working or not. So here it is. Select, bam, works like a boss with no issues to report. In terms of the volume panel, this is how the volume panel looks like and the other options are at the bottom. So this is your volume panel from AOSP. You do have a button on top to switch between the different ringer modes and this button at the bottom here is to enable or disable live caption if you swipe on the left you do have your google feed and as you can see there are no jitters and no lags in the google feed as well and because this is pixel experience hey google works like a boss on this build without any issues of course screen off hey google does not work next up you can have a look at the quick setting tiles which come baked in with this build so here are your options for the quick setting tiles in case you want to add more you can always tap on the edit icon and these are the other quick setting tiles which you can add tap on the three dot menu on the top right and the only option you have is to reset so unfortunately you do not have the option of changing the number of rows and columns in your quick setting tiles next up you do have Android 11 screen recorder baked in, which lets you record device audio and microphone at the same time. And now that the screen recording has started, let us check if there is any lag in the UI once you start the screen recorder. And as you can see on your screen right now, no jitters and no lags once you are recording your screen. And yes, you do have notification history option as well. You of course have to enable it from your apps and notifications. And when you access your notification, you do have the pretty cool blur and zoom effect on your wallpaper as well. Next up, we can head over to settings, have a look at the different customizations which you get with Android 11 and Pixel Experience based on Android 11. So if you go into your Wi-Fi, tap your Wi-Fi name, you have a new option to disconnect in the center, tap on advanced. You can also configure auto connect on a per Wi-Fi basis next up we have apps and notification we can go into see all apps choose the camera application go into permissions choose location so you have four different options allow all the time allow only while using the application ask every time and deny and you also have a toggle to remove permissions from an application in case it is not used for some time go into conversations you do have priority conversations baked in Go into notifications, notification history is there. You can of course enable bubbles in case you want to do that as well. Next up we have battery. In battery, optimization profiles, this is your thermals. These are the different options which you have for thermals. And in case you choose gaming and performance, you also have the option of touch control. This is going to let you configure the touch response, sensitivity and the touch resistant area. Other than that, if you go into battery saver, you do have the Pixel 5 Extreme battery saver baked in as well, along with the option to turning on the light when the device is charging, which is the LED light on the top of the device. And you also have a toggle to enable or disable battery percentage. Now in terms of battery life on this build, well, the overnight battery drain for me was like 1%. I have been using this build for more than 24 as now and there hasn't been any excessive battery drain in this build so with respect to battery the build is 
good to go next up we can jump over to display so in display with android 11 you can of course schedule your dark theme to turn on and off at a custom time then you also have night light adaptive brightness go into styles and wallpapers let us first go into wallpaper and as i mentioned earlier you do have pixel 5 live wallpapers and once you select any wallpaper you get a preview screen and on top you can choose between the preview for the home screen or for the lock screen whatever wallpaper you want tap on the check mark on the bottom right and it is going to set that wallpaper go into style these are the different themes which are baked in in case you want to add your own theme these are the different font options which you have then here are the different icon options which you have for your accent color here are the different accent color options which are present in this build no rgb picker icon shape options here are the different icon shape options and then of course you have to give it a name and then tap on apply and bam there it is the style was set successfully accent color green icon shape is teardrop and if you go into grid you can choose the number of rows and columns for the icons which you want to see on the home screen next up you can also configure your colors between natural boosted and adaptive no live display on this build then you can configure the font size display size screen saver go into lock screen you can always enable aod works like a boss go into advanced and you can configure your pickup hand wave and pocket mode all these options are working absolutely fine then you also have double tap to wake and anti flicker mode or dc dimming and here it is double tap to wake works like a boss the screen fod on this build is pretty great as well next up we have sound so in sound you do have the new android 11 dnd which can be configured on people apps and alarm bases live caption is present media player in the notification bar works absolutely fine as well then you can change your ringtones and you have toggles to configure these different options which you see on your screen along with me sound enhancer with hi-fi option baked into the build next up we have security so yes you do have screen off fod works absolutely fine and since you have screen off fod that means that fod is going to work even when the screen brightness is set as zero unfortunately you do not have the option of face unlock on this build right now next up you can jump over to system and you have your pop-up camera settings so you can configure the camera led and the camera sound effects when the front camera pops up go into gestures you can of course quickly open the camera by pressing the power button twice when the screen is off system navigation two different options three button navigation or full screen gestures with the option to configure the left and right edge sensitivity independently and you also have prevent ringing wherein you can press power and volume up together to either put your phone to vibrate or to mute whatever option you want to choose over there going to advanced you also have rules so with rules you can say turn off your wi-fi as soon as you leave your home you of course have to enable location access as well next up we can have a look at the different apps which are baked into this build so you do have snapdragon camera baked in now those of you who want to use say gcams i have gcams mentioned in the pinned comment on this video so feel free to download the apk and install it other than that you also have portrait light working like a boss on this build so here it is i am in google photos right now there's a picture let me edit it and once i go into the adjust option bam here it is portrait light working like a boss without any issues on this build and do note this is a pixel exclusive feature so it's pretty great that it is working on this pixel experience rom other than that you also have google recorder 2.0 baked in as well you can also check for wide wine and here it is wide wine l1 in the building go to the play store and we can also search for the netflix application here it is netflix is available in the play store next up we can check for safety net so i do have magisk manager installed but my device is not rooted right now and as you can see safety net passes out of the box without any issues which means you should be able to use your banking apps next thing we can check for is youtube media playback so here it is let me open the youtube application and play a video as you can see live caption is working on this build right now 
pinch to zoom works as well and media playback does seem to be working without any issues we can also check for picture in picture and bam here it is picture in picture working like a boss on the build as well now in terms of your bluetooth devices and media controls in the status bar that option works absolutely fine however the issue which i found is that if you try to switch between the same bluetooth device more than once then the second time music or sound will not play from the bluetooth device even though the music is playing on the device so that is a bug which i have found on this build next up in terms of app opening animations here are the app opening and closing animations on your screen right now they are pretty smooth with no jitters or lags here are the recents everything is super fast and super smooth here is the google feed as you can see everything is super fast and super smooth on the google feed as well another question which i get a lot is is this rom daily driver well for me it is worth a daily driver because i haven't had any random reboots or anything like that other than the two issues which i found which is your android 11 easter egg not working and then the bluetooth issue everything else has been smooth and great so there it is peeps that was our first look at the beta build of pixel experience based on android 11 running on the redmi k20 pro or the xiaomi mi 90 pro and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you